Wednesday, Vermont Democrat Peter Welch and other members of the Energy and Commerce Subcommittee discussed how to expand the reach of broadband. There's total support to get affordable and accessible broadband throughout America. Free Press Action Policy Vice President Matthew Wood says the challenge is motivating service providers. What we're seeing now, though, is that their investment has been going down for the last few years. Their profits and their subscriber numbers and their revenues are going up. We need to get infrastructure in place in order to do it, and we need to do it responsibly. Wireless Infrastructure Association President Jonathan Adelston says it's on Congress to expand broadband so schools and rural and developing areas don't face the same issues they did during the pandemic. We need smart policies to build out uh, you know, 5G and close the digital divide. Republicans and Democrats agree. The coronavirus showcased that many parts of the country are long overdue for high-speed internet. Enable providers to have the necessary flexibility to respond quickly to the increased traffic. Ohio Republican Bob Latta says the work already done by Congress will help long-term expansion. But Welch says more pressure from the government could bring faster results. If it's not profitable for a company, whether it's this company or another one, they're not going to invest. So there has to be some federal role here. Reporting in Washington, I'm Basil John.